People uh, come through Bluff a lot to experience a wild place that has a lot of really interesting history and culture to it. People are starting to learn about the amazing things in Bluff's backyard. So we're seeing more and more people that aren't just passing through Bluff, um, but actually they're deciding to stay and make Bluff kind of a destination for their trip and see a lot of amazing things like River House on the San Juan River. My name is Nate Diazzi. I am a river guide for Wild Expeditions. We are on the San Juan River in southeastern Utah, one of the best places on the planet. You know, a lot of people can describe this as being out in the middle of nowhere, but when you start to really appreciate the landscape, you realize that may be out in the middle of nowhere, but where else can you go to get high desert and see some awesome sandstone, canyon walls, the river? I mean, a lot of people are surprised when you tell them that the San Juan River is here, and so I think it really kind of puts things into perspective for them. Here at the Bears Woods Education Center, of course, we got tons of maps we can show you around the area, give you some pointers on great places to see while you're on your trip. Um, but besides just good information about where to go and what to see, we help people understand what kind of things they can do to preserve these places. So the Education Center is meant to help equip people with the knowledge they need to be safe while they're out there and also visit in a way that doesn't damage these really sensitive cultural resources. We have quite a few people that have been visiting this area a lot longer than we have, and they've left their mark. Uh, quite a few of them have been very artistic. They've left some drawings for us to appreciate. Uh, some folks interpret them to mean uh, certain things. Well, today we started off early this morning at Sand Island and got to float a beautiful stretch of the river. And then you just get here and you can definitely just get this sense of wanting to respect such this amazing piece of history and it's really quite humbling. You have to see it and be in it to fully grasp the whole experience. My name is Russ Wheeler, the owner of Comridge Eat and Drink here in beautiful Bluff, Utah. Now our food isn't particularly complicated. You know, the idea is to have very accessible, very familiar food, but just make that really good, really local, really sustainable. You know, I think everyone comes here originally because of the location, and you know, it's just gorgeous, and there's so much to do. But then once you kind of get to know the people, there's a sense of, sense of tight community that's really kind of seductive, that, you know, I think because of the, the remoteness and the smallness of the, the town, that, you know, everyone has to help each other out, and you get to know everybody, and I mean, that's just something that you don't get, you know, anywhere else in any other kind of community. You know, I really love Bluff. Um, a lot for what it's not, you know. It is not a big city. Um, it's not a place that has a lot of amenities. But what it has is probably the world's best backyard, especially if you're interested in history, you're interested in Native American culture, um, and uh, you like to have wild adventures without people telling you too much what to do.